A scatter chart is used to cross-reference values and combine different data types. One data type can be represented by the x-axis, and a different data type can be represented by the y-axis. You can then use the legend to explain what each point on the chart means. A Google Sheet spreadsheet is open and I have a table with data and a chart already inserted. The chart editor pane is also open on the right. Currently, the chart is a default chart and under the chart type in the pane, it is a combo chart. I can open the chart type menu where we have our suggested charts and I can scroll down to the scatter section where we have the option to have a scatter chart or a bubble chart. I'll select scatter chart and the data is now displayed in a scatter chart. You may want to adjust the way the data series are interpreted. As always, you can move and resize the chart as usual. So I'll click on the chart and I'll just move it over to the left slightly. I can edit the chart by using the chart editor pane. Under the setup tab, we have the chart type and data range. Then we have the values for the x-axis, which is month, and that is the first column in our table. I can scroll down a bit and we have our series, which are the other columns in the table. It is possible to remove and add a series. For example, I can click on the three dots for expenses. This opens a menu where I have the options to remove, remove all series, or add labels. I'll click on remove and expenses has been removed from the chart. To add a series, I can click in the Add Series field. This opens a menu, and I can choose the series that I want to add. I'll click on Expenses to add it back into the chart. I can scroll down to the bottom where we have more options. You can always activate or deactivate the options by clicking on the checkboxes. In addition, you can format a scatter chart title and legend. I will switch to the Customize tab for customizing the chart. Then I'll click on the Chart and Axis Titles to expand the options. With the chart title selected, I can add or edit the title text, the title font, font size, format, and text color. For example, I'll make the title format bold. I can now scroll down and I'll click on Legend to expand the legend options and I'll scroll up a little so we can better view them. I will select a position by clicking to open the position menu. I'll change the legend to the bottom and I can apply a text effect. For example, I'll make it italic. Lastly, I can format the series. In the chart, the series is explained by the legend, which are the two points in different colors. If you click on one of these points in the chart itself, it will open the customization options for that series in the pane. 